where are we? We are in Midtown in the heart of Huntsville. Uh, we're back up to the research part where lots of the employment is. Anywhere from the Rolls Royce to Dynetics to Raytheon, all the employment base on that is in this research part that backs up to uh, this particular development. You can see it's well done as far as the uh, the layout, the, the appeal. It's more of a southern looking home in here. Um, very, very convenient to everything in Huntsville. You got the clubhouse and the pool. You got multiple walking trails. You've got sidewalks. You got street lights. Uh, very appealing to someone moving into Huntsville. Arriving at 1100 Town Creek Place, northwest on the left. Now we came from the side that's got all the, the offices and, and mm -hmm. technology, mm -hmm. but there's another road there that takes us, what, it's two minutes from? That's one of the lots there. Well, there's a lot of construction going on. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, so down the other exit, there's towards um, shopping and stuff? Mm-hmm, yep. So our houses will be looking at this pond. Mm -hmm. Yep. Water view. Water view. Water view. Which is nice because you won't have it back across the street. I mean. So this is one of ours? Mm-hmm. The nice thing is they come in from the back, and if you'll notice, riding through this neighborhood, it doesn't look cluttered at all. Part of the reason it doesn't look cluttered is the parking is in the back, and it just gives a cleaner look on the front in a lot of cases. It's a much more expensive development to put in because you're putting in a whole other street in the back for the alleyway, but it, it has a nice appeal and people love it. And then it's this lot here. of the preserve, the cottages in the preserve, where I live. Or the nicer ones and which ones were the cheaper ones. See, these get smaller down here. Those are a little bit bigger there. Well, that cold sack has some bigger ones too, and they have some detached garages, which are nice. notice too if you look at it the architecture in this neighborhood is a little bit different than other stuff we've been seeing in Huntsville um, which is actually a good selling point for people moving in because it's not the same old same old that you see in Huntsville can make or break a house. I like to look up the windows.
the community is? I do not know exactly. My guess is probably started in the downturn, like right at the beginning, of, right before the downturn happened, and it's kind of taken a resurgence after that. Um, it's probably sat here with not hardly anything going on for four or five years, and then as the economy improved, it got better and better. Actually, I do know that because I was talking to Jeff Infinger that uh, started this development, and you'll notice different architectural styles in here, and part of it was that they'd have builders come in and buy, you know, particular lights, and there was one builder in here originally, and then it branched out into multiple builders. See, so you got townhomes over there, too. <laughs> Well done, neighborhood. other side of it we were literally one minute from that um, business center Turn research park, park yeah. research park Road northwest so on the other side obviously there's more offices over here that looks like an assisted living is what that looks like in a hotel there but it may be another hotel it's a residency in there and then turn right on residence and road northwest <laughs> then turn left Shopping with Shop. Target. In one half mile. All the main stores are here. Kroger. To Alabama, two fifty-five south. Restaurants. And then we'll actually cut back over here to this other shopping district. It's really nice and upscale. <laughs> 